Hi, this is your host Avalin Bharti and today we have two members of the Thai KV project, Hao Wen, Community Manager and Liu Tang, Chief Engineer at PinCap and he's also a Thai KV maintainer. Hao, Liu, first of all, welcome to the show. Hi. Hi, thanks for having us. What is Thai KV project and what problem you're trying to solve? Thai KV is an open source a distributed transactional key value database. TaiKiwi is inspired by the Google Spanner at F1. The design is simpler and more practical. Why uh, did we want to develop TaiKiwi? And in PinCap, uh, we start we start PinCap five years ago. And at that time, we want to build a distributed database, a, a, a circle database, and uh, maybe MySQL compatibility, uh, support the MySQL protocol. And at that time, we at first we built a circle layer, and then we want to uh, build a we want a, a distributed key value uh, storage layer, and uh, to support data, our database. At first, uh, we try to use HBase, but at that time we found that the performance is very bad, so we decided to build our own distributed key value database. So that's why that's how TechV comes. How do you have to add anything there? Uh, TechV was originally created to complement TiDB, and so but uh, uh, we soon realized that uh, TechV the project could be uh, uh, decoupled from the TiD from TiDB project and uh, serve as a unified distributed storage la storage layer as far as strong data consistency distributed transactions, horizontal scalability, and the cloud native architecture. Uh, so, and also we realized that uh, as the amount of data it generates uh, are more and more, so this could be uh, in a lot of demand in this, in the cloud native uh, community. So uh, that's why we do not it it to the CNCF that to to build a, to make it a build block for for the next generation of distributed system by you know providing a reliable high quality and practical storage foundation actually this is also the mission of TaiKB can you also tell how is CNCF helping TaiKB community to grow yeah uh, Thanks for this question. Actually, this uh, is the question that I want to talk about because I have been the liaison between the CNCF and the TechV project. Uh, the CNCF actually, uh, you know, has been immensely helpful in, in shaping TechV into what it is today uh, in terms of both, uh, the, both of the project and the community. So actually, there are some key words that I would like to elaborate on when you ask uh, about this question. Uh, the first keyword is neutrality. Um, you know, the CNCF uh, provides a neutral home um, to projects like ours so that developers from uh, different organizations uh, are willing to collaborate, uh, contribute, and, uh, you know, uh, eventually, eventually become the leaders in the project. Uh, this is... Uh, very important for the broader community community to perceive tech ev as a vendor neutral and the universal project which is in line with our mission and so that they will feel tech ev belongs to the community instead of a single company like pink cap so people they uh, people feel comfortable adopting it or uh, developing their own apps on tech ev and for example, we, we have three Redis on TaiKV projects. And also we, 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 we have a permit to use on TaiKV project that's, uh, that even features in their own official documentation. And also our, uh, our maintaining companies like Zhihu and Yidi and Zixun, both of them are, are building their own um, systems or platforms on TaiKV. It directly without relying on the on TaiDB. So these are 
actually all amazing contributions to the project from the com, com the from the community. Uh, it's not from any you know from Pincap or from Pincap. Yeah, actually, uh, this is uh, the the neutrality and also another keyword is uh, exposure. I think uh, another aspect. This is uh, also a important important aspect. It, which specifically it means the the pub the publicity and uh, uh, the marketing support that we get from CNCF. Uh, it's very important for a project like Tech TV uh, because we are building a great project and we we want it to to be known by the broader cloud native community so that more people and uh, more companies could get involved and. Uh, and uh, it, it also means more ado adoptions, of course. Uh, so in this sense, the uh, KubeCon, like the CNCF webinar and uh, the CNCF blog articles, they all helped a lot in promoting our technology, in sharing our experiences and best practices. Last but not least, not least is diversity. I think this is built on the uh, previous two keywords. So by diversity, I mean, you know, uh, the first is the diversity in maintainer and the contributor structure. So oh, within the past two years, we have seen more and more maintainers from different companies. Like we have seven maintainers, uh, which are distributed in four companies. This is very important criteria for CNCF, you know, to de decide whether you're, you have met the uh, the criteria for graduation. Since you mentioned graduation, uh, can you talk about what does it mean for a project like Thai Kiwi to become a graduated project? How does it does it affect the project? How does it affect the users? For the project, uh, as I mentioned, uh, you know, Thai Kiwi has a, a has a lot of adoptions, like around. Uh, 1,000 adopters in production, and they are better tested. But now we moved from incubation to graduated projects. I I think it's a very solid and uh, and convincing validation of the TechV project for its growing adoption and uh, for its uh, open governance in the community and for its future maturity and uh, for its strong commitment to the. Uh, community and uh, sustain sustainability as well. So the this recognition from CNCF could could not be more you know exciting and uh, important for the for the project and then for us as well. And also uh, to answer your second question from the user's perspective, I think this this means simply you know the credibility and reliability of the project. Uh, this means that Tech TV is uh, a mature enough project or database for for the cloud native architecture. This it also means that uh, the Tech TV community is a healthy, active community that's gonna be around there long enough so that they could get involved or you know uh, turn to, uh, if they have they want spot. Yeah, it's really you know uh, boosts the confidence in users. Yes, very true, very true. Uh, one uh, last question before we wrap this up. Can you talk about the roadmap of the Thai KV project? What do you have in the pipeline? Okay, uh, that's a good question. And for the roadmap of Thai KV, at first we want to let the Thai KV to run more faster, more easier to use, and more cost effective. So which means that uh, in the we have just released Type KV 4.0 version, and uh, maybe next year we will release the Type KV 5.0 version. In this, uh, in this version, and we just want to let Type KV can run more friendly on the cloud. So we will try to let Type KV run, uh, maybe can run well on the AWS EBS cloud disk, and uh, but and then they, and later we will we just want to build a uh, tech to maybe to fit the AWS S3 
or any other cloud storage and to make it technically more uh, correlative. And the other thing is that we might want to let TechQuery to be, uh, to can uh, fit uh, more different workloads. So we uh, try to let TechQuery not only support uh, the RockDB engine, but also can uh, support any other different engines, for example, White Tiger, uh, etc. cetera, to, uh, to maybe so to uh, satisfy different workloads. And maybe uh, the long-term goal of TechQuery is that maybe we want to introduce AI. So maybe we can use the AI-driven to let the TechQuery to use different en engines to certify different workloads. Uh, that's the, maybe the uh, world roadmap of the TechQuery. Awesome. Uh, how Liu, thank you so much for talking to me today uh, about the Thai Kiwi project and also share the roadmap, uh, what the graduation means and how uh, CNCF is helping the growth of the project. And I look forward to talk to you guys again. Thank you. Thank you.